EdTech Fair is uh, a concept that we came up with about a year and a half ago. Uh, the idea was to be able to provide our undergraduate students primarily with experiences in how to integrate technology into their pedagogy. The purpose wasn't so much to focus on the technology, it was really to focus on how uh, pedagogy can be supported by technology. Technology with a critical lens, you have to sort of look at the technology and and ask yourself what are the benefits and what are the penalties. I mean, it's it's a, it essentially a simplest way is to you do a pro, pro versus con analysis. That's a really easy analysis. I think also it's worth finding out what other people have said about the technology. I think too often teachers rely on their gut instinct to move forward in a particular area and. I almost think that if we are going to be teaching academics that we should be doing some academic skills like researching or uh, evaluating ahead and obviously the easiest form of research for teachers to get involved in is action research. So I think that yes, use a technology, experiment with it, but be reflective with that use and to think about um, where you're going with that use and to think about how well did this work? Did I lose anything from this? What did I gain from this? An example of, of tech using ed is when teachers uh, replan their lessons to support a particular kind of technology. So for example, they'll redo a unit so they can fit in a uh, Wordle, right? One of those, those word clouds. Or they'll, um, they'll look for resources so they can have the projector on, right? So that's, that's sort of the technologies using the, the teacher, using education in that case. Whereas in an example of, of students using technology uh, or uh, education using technology is when the teacher goes, oh, well that's going to give my students something new that they didn't have before. I mean, We have students working on many one-to-one um, -one laptops in a lot of our programs and uh, the students are working on a lot of iPods uh, using QR codes to do assignments, self-checks, uh, self-guided tours and uh, games in our school. Uh, we have many iPod applications that we use in our classroom to um, advance the kids in using literacy and math. Um, we have many different uh, activities that they can do to support a lot of the literature and activities that we are teaching in our classroom. Uh, we use a lot of the QR codes in our book studies and novel studies so the kids can do um, some self-assessments and use links from the web uh, to support their documents and do bibliographies. Um, it is very important to have tech days like this at the University of Alberta because a lot of our student teachers that come out to our schools say that there isn't a lot of opportunity to get involved with the technology that is now available and happening in our schools. Uh, it is very important for them to understand the vast um, abundance of technology that we are using and the amount that the students are relying on it and using it every day in our schools and to have that support and understanding before they come out to our schools to actually start teaching. Um, a word of advice for any student that is looking to uh, get involved in technology in teaching uh, is make sure that you're planning your lessons uh, to not revolve around the technology but use the technology to support you in your assignments and your lessons that you're providing for your students. A graduate of the University of Alberta. Yeah. Okay. And tell me about your experience today. Uh, I really enjoyed going to a number of sessions on technology, uh, a lot of which is already happening in my school, but uh, at the same time it was really good to get a new, fresh perspective and idea on a few other technologies that I haven't used. All of the rooms have smart boards, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of push for technology in our school. Okay. It's incredibly important for graduates to uh, have a knowledge of technology before they enter education. It's a part of our daily lives. Um, it's a part of everything that we do. And the more that you know it, the easier it will become and b both save you time and help to engage and entertain your students in the classroom. Hi, I'm Betty Gray. I'm Director of School Technology Sector with Alberta Education. Uh, we have interesting times in Alberta classrooms. We have a wide range of diversity in our students. We have students coming to us uh, with different languages, with different learning needs, with different cognitive abilities, and it's our responsibility to teach them all. And the amazing possibilities of technology to reach out to those students and make a difference and help them learn is really, really exciting for us. I think the trends in Alberta definitely for technology, uh, increasingly more mobile technologies, um, students starting to bring their own devices into classrooms, students starting to personalize their learning. 
Web 2.0 tools will continue to come on stream. And so the possibilities are absolutely endless, and we will continue to learn along with our students. The important piece, I think, is that they reimagine how they're going to take up what they've learned in their classrooms. They need to reimagine uh, how a particular tool or uh, a concept that's being shared with them can be implemented in their own context so that uh, they're better able to meet the needs of their students. It's about student-centered learning. Well, it isn't so much the uh, importance of, of teachers being tech literate. Uh, and it depends how you use that, that term. Uh, the, for me, the importance of having uh, technical literacy is around pedagogy. So the question is really, as a teacher, do I have the ability to identify the very best tools to address the learning needs of my students in their classes? And uh, the other piece that uh, is related to this is that we're really at a point uh, where we need to rethink the role of the teacher and the role of the student. Yeah.